Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, one of our new products. It's an infrared transmitter and receiver. Uh, you can uh, change the transmit frequency using this potentiometer. This is the transmitting LED. This is the IR receiver LED and you can uh, you can basically tune the gain at the output. Now it may take you some time and you can really do a lot of experimenting with the uh, the, trans, uh, the transmitter potentiometer and the receiver potentiometer, but you can tune it a bunch of different ways. Uh, I've tuned it so that if I breach the, put my hand in front of the transmitter receiver LEDs, uh, you'll see the the frequency being transmitted. Right now, it's normally outputting high. There you go. That's the. Uh, you might not be able to see that very well. I'm gonna. Yeah, there you go. So again, if you just want a high and low, you can tune it as best as you can. You put it a uh, you put a uh, capacitor on the output or between the output and ground and there you go maybe a resistor as well actually let's try that so I put a 100 microfarad capacitor at the output uh, don't need a resistor and I've got the same tuning as you just saw a minute ago uh, and I'm putting my hand in front of the beams uh, about one foot good old capacitors eh now I lied, I've got this at about half of a foot. I could probably tune it to be about as far as a foot. But again, uh, you may want to see that frequency. The frequency will change uh, based on how far your hand is away from it. I'd say max transmit distance is about a foot. But again, let me show you one more time what I'm doing with the uh, transmitter and receiver. The red LED should always be on because that's your power LED. Again, that changes the frequency of the transmitting and this changes the gain of your receiver so uh, let me just bring this up a little bit and here we go now as you can see the rise and the fall you can actually see the rise and the fall times because the LED turning on and off so slowly meaning you don't need a 100 microfarad uh, resistor you uh, you really only need maybe a 1 to 10 microfarad uh, sorry capacitor not a resistor capacitor Lastly, let's try that one more time with a uh, one microfarad capacitor. I change it from 100 microfarads down to one microfarad. Bang, bang, bang. No square wave, no square wave. Uh, so I'm actually just show you the uh, oscilloscope. High low, high low, high low. So there you have it. It's a fun little gadget. Easily interface with uh, any digital project, pick Arduino, basic stamp, TTL, uh, you know, your, digi your standard digital circuit. It's fun. A uh, bunch of different uses for it. I might use it as a part of a security kit that I'm coming out with. By the way, I'm actually making some security system kits that will be a lot of fun, so please check us out at engineeringshock.com. Didn't mean to drone on so much during this video, but uh, thanks for watching.